Hi, my name is Mike Maxheimer. I'm president of Montage Ministries. And let me be very clear, Montage Ministries is all about the truth of Jesus Christ. We don't hide it, we don't disguise it, that's what we're about. You don't have fun. You don't have to believe it, you don't have to agree with it, you don't even have to like it to come. A lot of you don't. Some of you don't, some of you come here like, oh, I don't, 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 and then like three minutes into it, you're like, I believe, I believe, I believe. So when somebody asks you, what's my time? You can tell, hey, it's an awesome place, it's free, you can go and hang out, and they got some really cool things to do, and it's, it's a lot of fun, but also don't forget to tell them about the Jesus part. Hey, my name is Peter, and I've been going to Montage for about two years. I think it's a great place for teenagers to come and just be themselves and not worry about getting judged. It just helps to teach teenagers that God is the option, is a good option to go for and to just keep them out of trouble. third leading cause of death between teens of 13 and 24 is suicide. And there's nothing more. There's nothing more to give up than to commit suicide, guys. So I want to step back with you, and I want to look at something a little bit different. I want to look at something uh, at a different angle. Hi, my name is Zach. I'm one of the volunteers here at Montage. I just uh, help set up chairs, basically. It's a fun place to come to, so if you're seeing this, come to Montage and have some fun. There's free pizza, and hmm, what else? Jesus. You get a side of Jesus with that pizza. So come enjoy it, have some fun. I believe. And you are not defined by the family that you're living in. Amen if it's a good, powerful family, but if it's not, you're not defined by it. Or your friends, or your situation, or your school. Christianity, the belief in Jesus Christ, is free, but it's the hardest thing that you'll ever have to do because when you come to Christ, when you choose something, it's like taking off the blinders. feel by yourself that is the enemy because I'm telling you guys there is more to life. Now wave it and say I have felt stuck. What are you friend and you're like oh I'm so in love I met the perfect person we've been dating for 45 minutes and it is for real can't think we're going to get married can't think we're going to get out of bed today can't think Give up, give up, go away, go away, don't fucking. And you're like, ah, I'm feeling bad, and you're crying. Now, raise your hand if you've ever been in a situation similar to that. So make no doubt about it tonight that you are not by yourself if you have fear in your life. Make no doubt about it that if you are by your, you feel by yourself, that is the enemy. You know why I do you? Do you know why I want to do this? Why I want to connect with you? Why I stay up to 1, 2 in the morning and message with you guys? Why I do things outside of Montage? Because I was hurt as a kid. And I still deal with those scars. And I still deal with that hurt. And I was put in abusive situations as a child that no child should have ever been put in. And I still deal with those scars. 
I believe in hope. I believe in redemption. I believe in second chances. And I believe that just because we had to go through something that hurt, that does not define the rest of our life. That's why we do this. I know it's hard at your age or at school. I know it's tough because you, you, you feel like you don't have control of a lot of things or you can't change a lot of things or you can't do something different about it. And you're worried about what's going to be said on Facebook or what's going to be said on this site or that or what's going to be spread around school and, and you're afraid that if you stand up for truth or if you show love to someone that you'll lose this group of friends or you may put this in jeopardy. I understand that it's tough. But if it wasn't tough, if it wasn't hard, it really wouldn't be worth anything. These people are just waiting for us to fall, but that's not what this is about. This is about being bold and about speaking powerful words of life. So I want to invite them and anyone else who wants to simply grab this mic, state their name, and say, I choose Christ. Not choose Christ maybe not because you believe, or, but because you want to choose Him in this situation or in this season of life that you're going through. So I ask, is there anybody in this room who wants to be bold in front of their peers? Who wants to speak life? It's your name. I choose Christ. I choose Christ. I choose Christ. Can I get an amen? Come on. 